What is going on guys, it is Duke, and today we are going to jump into something a little bit different. Normally, I am known for bringing you guys some war attack videos, some farming videos, but I just received a comment from a subscriber, DiegoJ25Games, who mentioned about doing a hero guide. And you know what, I thought it was pretty uh, interesting, I thought it might be an exciting video to do, because I know pretty much everyone who plays the game wants to level up their heroes and get the maxed heroes that you're looking at right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to be going through every single Town Hall level from Town Hall 7, where you're able to unlock your Barbarian King, all the way up through Town Hall 11, where you're looking at these maxed heroes right here I am on a developer build which is uh, given to me by Supercell among many other youtubers and content creators out there so you might see some things that are look a little bit different as far as uh, my resources right now being at zero gems sometimes kind of floating around but in order to bring you guys a good comprehensive uh, upgrade guide about how to farm the town with the dark elixir which is so precious so we're gonna get in we're gonna jump into town hall 7 checking out we're gonna get right into things I hope you guys like it okay guys here we are at town hall 7 and town hall 7 is the first town hall where you can obtain a hero and that hero is the barbarian king and the Barbarian King at Town Hall 7 goes from level 1 through level 5 where he maxes out. So, uh, it is tough to early on to get that DE that you need to upgrade him. Because first you're going to get a low level drill that is going to be available. It doesn't give you much, but you have the storage. So it is up to you to go ahead and farm up your Dark Elixir. I basically say you should farm up your Dark Elixir after you get your main core of your Elixir troops upgraded in your laboratory. So we're going to jump in. We're going to check out what I feel is one of the best ways to farm up Dark Elixir at Town Hall 7. Because it's tough to hit Town Hall 9s or Town Hall 8s. So you're going to be looking for other Town Hall 7s, especially dead bases. So we're going to check a replay out of one of what I consider to be the best Dark Elixir farming strategies. Okay, now when you're at Town Hall 7 and you're farming Dark Elixir, I feel Jai Barch is one that cannot fail. You want to look for one with a lot of Dark Elixir basically in the storage. You want to find a storage unit that is close to the edge of the Town Hall area there. So as you can see the base, we're going ahead and we're dropping our uh, Giants down. We're going to go ahead and poke holes in this base with the wall breakers and then bringing in your barbarians and your archers so basically your your giants and your barbarians are going to be the meat shields for the archers to go in that's why we're going heavy over a hundred looks like a close to a hundred archers here and that is going to be your mainstay of the army so when you're dark elixir farming especially when you're going for a ton of Dark Elixir, that is your main focus. You're not too worried about uh, gold or Elixir. It is all about the DE. So as we can see, we're going to shoot through here. Like I said, if you can get that Dark Elixir storage, that is your main key. But it is basically rapid fire Dark Elixir farming. This army is cheap to use. 123 archers, 35 barbarians, 6 giants, wall breakers. It's uh, relatively cheap to use. It's quick to train. So that is the name of the game when you're going after Dark Elixir, especially at Town Hall 7. Okay, guys, here at Town Hall 8, you have another five levels for your Barbarian King. So you're going from level 6 through level 10 for your Barbarian King. So we have a few more options here, a little bit of a stronger variety of attacks. The one thing that I will say is that the same attack that you would use at Town Hall 7 with the Jai Barch attack is a very viable strategy. But here, the attack I'm going to show you is just a little bit of a, a different attack here, a little bit more fun. It is a Lunion Raid. So, like I said, do not be afraid to use the Jai Barch that we use at Town Hall 7. And now we're going to jump into an air style attack going after that Dark Elixir. Okay, we found a base with over 2,000 Dark Elixir, which is perfect for your Town Hall 8 rating. We have 28 loons, 25 minions. We're coming from the one side using two heal spells and a rage. So you're always just spamming down your loons in a, uh, a big wide fashion just to create a sweeping wall 
of uh, Skelly smashing madness coming on through. And the minions, as you can see, they're in the back end cleaning up. Bringing in a few wall breakers just to create a hole in case we need the Barbarian King to get in there and get at that Dark Elixir. Which in this case we really did not need. We have our Barbarian King is going to be coming in kind of late to the party here. We didn't need him for the Dark Elixir but in case we got to get that, that Town Hall going. Looks like the minions are almost at it. It is going to go down in one second. Looks like the King's going to come in with a punch. And he's going to do a one-punch knockout just to help out those minions. Then he's going to roll around down south here. But like I said, with the name of the game of Dark Elixir Farming is do not worry about gold and, el gold and elixir. So anything on top of uh, your Dark Elixir is gravy. So like I said, you're going right after that Dark Elixir. This is just another uh, style of attack just to change up the monotony. Sometimes using those Jai Barch. Those attacks can get stale and get boring, but just to uh, get your game going a little bit, just to give a little bit more hype, this is a way to go about it. So we were able to pull in 2,000 Dark Elixir, especially when you're this low in your levels for your heroes in your Barbarian King. Uh, you do not need a ton of Dark Elixir, so this is one good way of uh, going after that Dark Elixir, getting it into your storages. Okay, here at Town Hall 9, you will need an absorbent amount of Dark Elixir. As you can see here, our heroes max out at 3030. And here is actually where you can get your Archer Queen. So, you're going to have 20 levels of your Barbarian King going from 11 through 30. And then you're going to have 30 levels of the Archer Queen. She unlocks a Town Hall 9 and goes all the way up through level 30 so it is an absolute grind and we're going to show you one of the most popular ways to go after and get that much covenant dark elixir okay ladies and gentlemen we are going to be taking a look at the goblin knife attack here super popular we're going to be bringing in close to 100 goblins here so you're dropping down a couple sets of jumps and then you're going to be bringing in the giants to tank and the heroes creating a nice funnel with your archers and then once everything's cleared out the path is cleared start dropping down some of those goblins and then once you can see that the dark elixir storage unit is going to be targeted you bring in all the horses you bring in all the goblins as you can see here looks like most of the damage was done we were able to get in there on this max town hall nine with our goblins with our giants just to get in with our heroes and create all kinds of havoc it is called the goblin knife because these goblins will slice directly into a base just like a knife and they will tear up dark elixir storages so that is one way to get fast easy dark elixir no matter where the dark elixir storages are located on the base so make sure you guys are learning this one putting it in your back pocket because it's very useful to get a good amount of dark elixir in a short amount of time because it is a really good attack okay up here at town hall 10 which is where i currently have my main account 4040 heroes are basically the gold standard of every Town Hall 10 player, which means that you have 10 levels for each hero to upgrade at this Town Hall. So you're going from 31 all the way up through 40. What I chose to do was to go from 30 to 35 on my queen and then take my king from 30 to 35 also and then take my queen from 35 to 40 then king from 35 to 40 i'm going to show you the army composition that i used to really max out my heroes for this town hall it's one that i see a ton of people using it's my favorite it's a little bit heavy but you can really mop up a ton of dark elixir and it works for me i love doing it so let's get in and check it out it is going to be la lunian raiding and i found a base here thor with 7,000 dark elixir bringing in two hounds each on the bottom for for each air defense that you can see there I think it's about 30 loons just span them all across about 26 minions we could basically coming in first with the hounds and then bringing the loons in 
them bringing in the minions from behind. They are such an amazing uh, buzzsaw cleanup troop here. So they do an excellent job, not really even needing my heroes to come in. We punched a hole at the bottom, and then it's time to bring in the heroes. But at this point, all the Dark Elixirs left up top, which I should have looked I was too concerned about coming in from the bottom thinking that there would be a good amount inside of that town hall which acts as a storage. So King is going ahead and decoying on the uh, Archer Queen there. And meanwhile my Queen takes out the town hall. Going to work our way over to the Elixir storage. But at this point it is over. So 1.2 million in golden elixir and over 5,000 in dark elixir which is amazing so it is a complete grind for those 10 extra uh, levels that you're going to be upgrading it's a ton of dark elixir it's a ton of time one week for each upgrade so it's a killer but if you put the time in and you use an rb composition like this you'll be able to do it in no time okay guys we are up at the final town hall town hall 11 and here we have five levels on your Archer Queen and your Barbarian King that you'll have to complete. And then there are 20 levels on your uh, Grand Warden, which is an Elixir upgrade, so it's not as bad. So if you're used to your regular farming, you can get your Elixir with those type of armies, especially here at Town Hall 11. But we're going to focus on the Dark Elixir. We're going to stick with that theme. We're going to jump in and check out Town Hall 11 dark elixir farming a little bit different from every other town hall because we are going to be going with a baby dragon and a loon strategy we're going to jump in we're going to check out an attack replay that gets a ton of loot okay i found a uh, nice base here with an immense amount of uh, loot we are going to zap quake one of the air defenses then we're going to send a hound and a loon in on another air defense now these air defenses are uh, set way away from the dark elixir which was great then we're going to spam down our baby dragons we're going to let them go right towards where the dark elixir is then we're going to drop down our queen a line of loons and then bring in the grand warden so but in this one here, I kept the Grand Warden on the ground, meant to put him on the air, so that's a newbie mistake. But as you can see, we were able to go through and get a ton of that Dark Elixir, which was sitting up in those storages. And then we have two drills down at the bottom, which the King's going to come in. He is going to take out both of those drills, no problem. Meanwhile, we got some baby drags floating around the sides, a couple in the middle. And then we still have the King with his ability, which will get popped in a minute there. But we have the King and we have the Barbarian, actually. We have the Archer Queen and the Warden coming around the side of the base here. But we were able to get over 7,000 Dark Elixir. So that's what you're going to be looking at. So this strategy here, which uh, I kind of adopted it from uh, Clash with Ash, checking out his videos. That's what he was using up at Town Hall 11 to max out his king and his queen to get that Dark Elixir. So if you don't trust me, you can trust him. And this is a very viable strategy that you can use, especially against these types of bases up there at your higher levels which town hall 11 sometimes pack a ton of loot inside of them okay guys i hope you guys enjoyed this hero upgrade guide for every single town hall going from town hall 7 all the way up through town hall 11 enabling you to fully max out your heroes your barbarian king archer queen and your grand warden best of luck to you guys let me know how you guys are doing let me know if you are on your way up there if you're maxed out at town hall 9 10 or 11 let me know down in the comments down below i want to see how you guys are doing and we will talk to you guys later